ఏంటి okay so so just to know i just want to explain this uh, based on the spaces between the words you can split using split method then all the words will come into an array so like this and you can easily access with array right whichever the element you want based on the indexes so these are the indexes first element in the zero index second element in the first index third element in the second index, fourth element in the third index, fifth element in the fourth index. So here I did, so array name of the index number I given. So this value will come and store here. Then next iteration, what I'm doing, I'm converting the string into integer format, long format basically. So long, in so this long wrapper class dot parse long, I'm giving a string. So this count str dot replace all commas with a space with empty string. So that's why a string will be converted into long format. Okay, so that's it. All this program. Let's run this. Uh, yeah, I'll close it. here commas were there we removed we replaced and you got in the integer format 
that's a one uh, so program and we covered all the methods uh, everything and now let's go to links so how can you fetch the particular section links so suppose you go to our website maybe yeah so you can go to this website Okay, so this is the one you can see similar kind of you know, scenarios. So how can you fetch only information related links or only customer service related links or only extras section related links? So fetching entire links is easy. Fetching particular section links is different, right? How can we fetch that? So that is what, so we are going to do that. And uh, so same you can do with uh, LinkedIn. So LinkedIn we have seen already, right? The same thing you can follow that. So let me uh, show you first, how can you get only information section links? First idea, you need to identify the information section. Okay, so how can you identify? So first identify the first element of that section. See, UL, uh, you can start from div. So div, UL, LA, so yeah, LA. So if you, so first identify the, this section only. Div class, that's enough, I think. Do UL only. That if you put on UL, the entire section is identifying. Do UL you can give. That's a information section. It is a from that section you can get all the links. You can get all the links. How can you get? So write a program so to fetch particular section links. Okay, I'll take this. Mm. get particular section links. Okay. So here it's a similar same. So we don't want all these things. Anyway, these things. So why I kept this, this is the identifying the, so information section. So web element, info section. So there is no, Web element methods. This is just I am identifying the web element. First step. You remember the first step, find element, uh, then find elements. So that program we are writing here. So do plus. So you can get X path.
Okay, you can go. So when, when you select this, we don't need to put from top. Average can give from here also. And that's what they did. So they have given from, see, from HTML onwards. So we don't want that much length, okay? So you can do, you can write your own. So wherever it is, you can start from here. Then this, do, 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 you will. So you can keep doing like that. So they did so big one. But I'm I'm going to shortcut that. So do square bracket, right? So do great class equal to class value. So what is the class value? Call iPhone SM, iPhone 3, something, right? Then UL. Single quote is missing. That's why it's not identifying. See that? Now it is the, so identifying the element. Now, fetch all the links, which all the links. So what you can do is list web element. Okay, so web element, uh, info section links equal to this info section dot find elements so by dot tag name yeah so in this info section what are all the a tags are there all of them i'm fetching and oh, sorry so then you can even you can play around with this. You can click and then you can go back. So then you can click on this second one. You can go back. So you can uh, no, iterate all of them. Iterate all of them just one by one. You can iterate. So you can, you can see that. Uh, you can write an X path also for this and you can do that. So I'll write X path for this. Now suppose U L L A F A, right? I'll write X path for this. Understand this X path. Uh, so how I'm going to parameterize this X path? Understand, right? So we'll write uh, this one. So this is the one. Next one, if you give a lay of two, so it will identify the second link. See that? See, second link. If I change a lay of three, third link. If I change a lay of four, fourth link. So this is how you can find out. 
how many links are there, the size we can, you know, we are going to get. But this one, how can you parameter? This is the LA value is changing. See, here only it is changing. How can you parameter is this? So iterate, read the links. So for int i equal to one and i less than or equal to this section dot size and i plus plus. So now you need to, you can get each link uh, text to URL and you can click it, right? So that's what we are going to do that. Fetch each link text string txt equal to driver dot find element. So by dot, that is an X path. Okay, you need to write X path dot get text. But uh, how do you give that first link? See how I'm parameterizing this, okay? Please catch this, I'm parameterizing. Parameterizing the X path. So what you need to do here is, wherever the value is changing, this one, put double quotes, plus this for loop i variable, plus double quotes. So this is the parameterization how you can do that. See, I'm doing a parameterization. See, whenever I value one comes, first link. Second, third link, like that, uh, it will fetch. So all the elements, let me write in detail. So you can print the value, you can get the so each you are each of each link URL. So link URL, how can you get it? Hmm? How can you get the link URL? Title. Hmm, no. Title is tooltip. href 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 will give you the url so print link name is you can print the txt and, uh, then link url is done each link so you're basically you're validating okay you're validating the each link dot click so it will take some time and i'll just give some thread dots link two seconds and you need to navigate back back to previous page to check the next link, right? So driver dot, navigate dot back. Okay, that's it, see that? This is the logic you need to build it. See, we got the text of each link, same link URL, same link you're clicking, and it will go to next page, right? And you come back, Again, next link will start loop. So let's see, run this program. About us. So delivery information, privacy policy. 
terms and conditions. That's it, right? So these are the elements. About us, so you can see, you can find out about us, delivery information, privacy policy, terms and conditions, and that you are allows. So this is how you can practice same thing even for these elements, okay? This, these sections, any one of section you can practice. How to parameterize the links, you know that it will really help you. So next class we'll discuss how to find broken links in the given web page, okay? Any questions?